What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing another career resim for the first time in at least a month or so and we are going to be doing a name that has been in the news a little bit, a tiny bit lately and that is Justin Blackman. There was kind of a recent, who was it that liked it? I can't remember. Was it MJD? It was like a private Instagram uh, account for Justin Blackman I believe and it had a, a picture of him in his Jaguars jersey and it was like something about recovery or his uh his comeback or something now I will say it could just be him coming back as a human which is the best thing you could ever ask for for him uh but maybe with his age he could still maybe make a roster you never know I'm not exactly sure what his you know off the field kind of situation is for for working out and all that but we're seeing guys like Tim Tebow get a chance. Why not Justin Blackman? You sign him to a veteran minimum, and you probably make the money back in jersey sales right out the gate anyways. So, a guy like Justin Blackman, who uh, is... He, I mean, I don't think it's really even debatable to say that he's one of the better... Uh, well, I mean, maybe not even one of the better. One of the greatest college wide receivers like ever. Uh, he was absolutely insane. Of course, it was drafted, I believe, pick five overall, if I'm not mistaken. I always thought it was six. But I believe it's five by the Jacksonville Jaguars, of course. Not the worst rookie season in the world, especially when you consider that he had Blaine Gabbert throwing to him. Of course, I don't want to get too much into like his personal details, but you know, uh, had some drinking issues and ultimately the NFL pretty much had to to suspend him. Not even just for, you know, like breaking the rules, but maybe even for his own good to try and get him to, you know, like turn it around I know it's not that easy and and it's unfortunate the way it goes and there's so many people like oh bust and oh what a waste of talent it's like okay dude like he's a human no one's perfect people have their demons and really I just hope whether he comes back in the NFL which would be cool to see whether you know he balls out or you know even just plays a couple preseason games uh I hope he's in a better place that's all I can really hope for and uh, I am still curious, especially as, I mean, like, I wasn't, like, a huge college Justin Blackman fan, but in the NFL, I was rooting for him. Uh, you know, I, I hope we can maybe see some uh, some crazy numbers here. You know, I want to I see it. Uh, a lot of you guys did suggest this one. Well, I mean, a lot of you. A few of you guys did, and I saw the name. I was like, oh, for sure. I'm not wanna sure why I'm looking at this because, of course, we're on the Jaguars, but he's not going to be drafted to the Jaguars. This is a career resim. So he would be in the class this year. Of course, this is after the actual draft completed in real life. Uh, so, you know, Trevor Lawrence should be here. Excuse me, sir. Is Trevor? It doesn't really. It really doesn't matter at all. But we have Justin Blackman. This is what Justin Blackman looks like. Number five, of course. If uh, he was actually in the class last year, I'd make the argument that especially, I mean, he probably would have opted out as well. Or chance he would have opted out. Especially with Jamar Chase opting out. Um, I think he probably would have been the first receiver taken. It'd be like a 1A, 1B type of situation. Now, obviously here, uh, Jacksonville does have the number one overall pick because technically, apparently, uh, I didn't choose a roster with Trevor Lawrence. I 100% thought I did. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I did, but I, I guess not. But I suppose it does, uh, af considering doing these after the actual draft concluded, it does provide... A, a interesting challenge because as much as it, we should have these players at the same time you know it'd be kind of unfair for the Jaguars to have a chance at Justin Blackman here and have Trevor Lawrence because you know I mean I assume they're not gonna have the number one overall pick again so I don't know let me know what you guys think we should do but of course let's start the draft and let's see first first and foremost make sure that we don't have Justin Blackman on our list we have nothing on the draft board. Okay, so he could still go here, but I don't think that's their biggest need. So he's unlikely to. And DT TJ Clayton goes number one. And the Jets snag themselves a wide receiver. And of course, uh, it makes me sad because uh, they should have a better quarterback and they don't here. But once again, it does provide that that challenge where I can't really, you know, it's it's tough because I can't really say, okay, we should give them uh, Wilson when they wouldn't have had that pick or likely won't. I mean, they might still have a high pick, but you know what I mean. It's it's tough. But regardless, we're going to go take a look at Mr. Justin Blackman on the Jets. This is the way I made him. I made him a 76 overall because it's a little bit tougher in uh, Madden. 
uh, back when he was around uh, as a rookie, he was an 80 overall out the gate, ironically, with the jersey number. 80 overall out the freaking gates. And uh, I didn't change his face thing, did I? I changed everything else, which is ironic because we never see his name anyways, but or his uh, in-game persona, persona thingy, whatever, his, his avatar, that's the one. Uh, but, yeah, I got to change that. But, yeah, I mean, I, I think the overalls are a little bit different in Madden now. You know, we didn't see an 80 overall wide receiver last Madden. Even with some of the really good talented wide receivers this Madden coming up, I still don't think we'll see someone in the 80s. So, I felt like, you know, probably 77, maybe 78 at best would have been his rating. But a 76 overall with these ratings, I think, is fair. 91 speed, 89 excel, 89 agility. Pretty solid catching. Decent enough route running, of course, uh, with the juke ability and a little bit of juke ability. Mainly, like, you know, kind of power stuff. Uh, of course, a lot of traits. Only normal, though. We should have been doing this from the start. But guys that uh, were bus, we shouldn't have uh, made them high dev just because they were sought after. They were, you know, they were looked at as high dev players. We should go for resims based on what actually happened. So Jamarcus Russell should be normal. You know, Blackman should be normal. Uh, you know, guys that are are late but really good, they should be superstars. So, you know, X Factor, all that stuff. Because looking at something like this. You can only go up if you have high dev, right? Well, you can't. We have dev regression on, but by the time he regresses in dev, he'll still be a good overall. So normal dev with decent ratings, I think, is fair. All right. Not only did this team get a uh, you know guy like Justin Blackman, they also got Odell Beckham Jr. So this team's kind of looking decent. Of course, I did move Justin Blackman up, but then he slipped back. It might have just been because the season's over. They also have a quarterback named uh, I always was going to call him Cade Mays, Chris Mays. Who uh, looks all right, so you know, it's not uh, Wilson, but it's not too far off, right? It's something uh, as far as the stats for his rookie year goes. Well, Chris May's good rookie year as well, but that's not the point. Marlon Mack, Justin Blackman, thirteen forty-three for yards, nine touchdowns, definitely better than his real-life rookie uh, season, but a lot more help here than Jacksonville had. Uh, not a bad season. May have even won Offensive Rookie of the Year with all these great quarterbacks laying around as well, and he didn't. Because of one of those great quarterbacks on his team. Well, maybe not great, but good enough, obviously, to win a rookie of the year. But that's pretty good, and that should get him to star development. Once again, we do have dev regression on, so he's not guaranteed to be a god. He's just he's played well so far as the Cowboys win the Super Bowl. And Mr. Blackman should be uh, star, and he is star. Clearly uh, the number two guy on the team. Uh, catching's getting a little bit better. Round running really didn't up too much, but... You know, he did get a speed upgrade, it appears. Did he get two speed upgrades? It's actually really impressive. And then quarterback Mays, superstar. The Jets getting wild on the draft. I took a look at it, and it looks pretty good. I didn't see the devs, but just based on the overalls, bolstering up that defense, a hidden development corner, Dominique Boone. I want to see these devs, of course. We're not going to look at every draft class, but when they look decent like this, they kind of have to. And an X-Factor corner. Okay. Uh, Brandon Duff, pass rusher, looks okay. And then at tight end, Kadeem Glass. Uh, the rest, yeah, yeah. All right, it might have been a really solid draft, but it's still... Who the hell is this guy? Hootlan. Hootalan. That must have been one of the first rookie class guys. Nice. They got themselves a superstar guard. Team's looking pretty decent, but even with that draft, there's still quite a bit to, uh, to go for this team. But yeah, Boone is uh, easily the biggest addition to the squad. Another playoff season and another 5-11 and 11 season. Okay, let's take a quick look at those stats. Uh, ooh, not good at all. Third on the list at wide receiver now, and that will definitely not get him a dev up. The question is, will it give him a dev down? I think that would be kind of harsh, right? And they end up with a 77 overall pass rusher. Kind of looks like one of those god-tier pass rushing clones that we see a lot. And, I mean, not bad players, just uh, lacking a little bit on the dev. You know, I don't know, I would imagine none of them were dev. All right, team not really looking too uh, much different, except for the fact that Maze did drop to start of element traits. Uh, are they moving, did they move the right guard to center? I think they did. Okay, that's an interesting move. Uh, defensively, Boone, obviously, X-Factor. And it seems like we may have lost another dev somewhere. I can't really pinpoint it, but at least Blackman's still star. All right, we're in the playoffs, uh, and they're doing worse somehow. 4-12, and 12, Chris Mays probably not going to go to normal, but he's definitely not going to go to superstar. Uh, receiving Blackman, speaking of going up and down, uh, like your mom. 
Mother, um, t- t- very good season. Could be uh, wide receiver of the year. He was number two. That's a Pro Bowl visit as well. At least he's getting some sort of accolades, I guess, right? He's still getting that money, I suppose. And going up in dev, most likely. I don't remember if we showed it, but it was it the Browns that won the Super Bowl last season? I don't remember, but the Saints win it this time. And Blackman does go to Superstar. Let's take a look at what they gave him. Route Apprentice and Grab and Go it. Grab and goes a little iffy, deep out, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, I guess Robert Prentice keep it. All right, head to the playoffs, and another, well, here we are with 7-9, and nine, though. I mean, that's a bit of a turnaround, I suppose. Looking at the stat line, uh, I'm not going to look at running backs anymore. There's no point. Damon over, shot receiver, and Blackman could be an X-Factor. He could be an X-Factor. I don't think that's quite good enough of a season to be a... Uh, no, I was guess I guess he's best wide receiver. The thing is with these wide receiver resims is like I don't know how to make it natural, right? Like he's number two, he's top tier of targets. You can't like be a bad receiver in sim if you're a higher on the list for uh, you know for the depth charts. So I don't even know, but Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Saints could have went back to back, but didn't. Any dev ups? We see a dev up for Blackman. Who goes up to X Factor, gets Wrecking Ball, which I think actually is kind of fair. Odell Beckham, I don't think it matters if he drops Dev because he's already 32. Defensively, I have no clue. Oh, new wide receiver on campus. Of course, a different type of wide receiver. Got to replace Odell Beckham, I suppose, at some points. Uh, they get a decent middle linebacker, uh, a pretty solid looking DT. Some okay players, nothing really too crazy. Kind of. Makes me wonder why I even showed it. Uh, another missed playoff season, five and eleven. I mean, I'm not really sure why, but uh, sure. As Blackman has a bit of a down season, that should be superstar. Uh, you know, I'll let him have it for one more season. I did turn off regression just because I keep forgetting about the fact that everyone regresses, not even just wide receivers and O line. It's a bit of a problem. So I think we're gonna be fair about it. And uh, we're just going to manually regress players. I think one kind of, you know, not super great season doesn't warrant a regressing. But if it happens again, of course, we will be dropping him. As uh, Saints make the Super Bowl three years in a row, but they only win one out of the three attempts. And shocking, 5-11. and 11. I'm going to be honest with you. If I'm you, Mr. Blackman, who may deserve to go down to Superstar here, I'd probably be leaving. Of course, he is a pretty solid overall, so it probably doesn't matter too much for him, but... Yeah, I'm going to have to make him a superstar here. He just, uh, I mean, the overall's there, obviously, but uh, he, he not really superstar numbers, right? He's getting outperformed by uh, Mr. What's his name? Grove? I don't even know. Ralph, I think, is his name. Who dang, gives a damn, honestly? Uh, but the real question is, does he need a contract soon? I believe he already got one from them, but the second one maybe like this season, next season, something like that. And yay, 6 and 10. <laughs> There's no point. Like, what's the deal? Hey, Blackman, though, could be back up to an X Factor. Uh, of course, I believe this may be a contract year for him. I'm not 100% sure if it was this year or next year. It might be. I'm not sure. We'll find out, I suppose, as the Saints again. And I believe the Bengals again. Actually, no, last season was different. But the season before it was... And the Bengals win again. So not really much to show for the draft. The year before, they drafted a superstar running back. This year, they drafted like a, a fourth-round star or better uh, DT. This is the running back. Uh, the reason why I haven't really showed much of it is because it clearly has not mattered as the team has uh, done basically nothing. Of course, you know, Blackman gets back to X-Factor. This is his contract year, so I'm not 100% sure how he played it. I'm not sure if they're... I mean, obviously, we know they're not playing that well as uh, touchdowns are down, but Blackman, you know, good enough still. I think that's Superstar X Factor worthy. We'll keep it there. And 5 and 11. He's brought enough to this team to where he should want to leave. But will he? Let's find out. As the Saints are in for maybe the fifth straight Super Bowl and they've won only one. What, I- what even is happening? All right, we headed to Cincinnati. Not like we chose to, but not a bad location. I got to give it to Blackman. Signing a four year, 670, 72, 75. I don't know what it was. Million dollar deal to join the Bengals is a good win for everyone. As uh, Higgins, I mean, he is kind of a similar type in general, but he is a bit slower. Uh, I would say not even close in type at all. I don't know. I, I just, I just think of fast and slow receivers, and I wouldn't say Blackman's slow, but he's he's kind of not fast. Uh, of course, they have this tight end named Mitchell, Trevor Mitchell, superstar development, looks like a god. Probably the best offense in the league right now. Uh, 
with Blackman there, and the defense looks pretty decent, so you can see why they, they do make the playoffs and the Super Bowl quite a bit, so this could be his time to shine, at least playoff-wise. If I see the sign practice squad, there we go, I was about to say, better not, oh, what the hell is this? 11 and 5 for everyone. Uh, okay, I guess you get an 11 and 5, and you get an 11 and 5, I don't know. Justin Blackman, though, still that X-Factor beast that he is. Ironically enough, probably had his best season yet here with the Bengals. Uh, of course, number two out of number one, really, for wide receivers. I'm a little surprised by that. Um, we'll still sim it. I, you know, it is what it is. I can't really do anything about it anyways. They beat the Chiefs. They beat the Ravens. Going up against the Colts. And I had a feeling. I had a feeling it, they lose... Of course, with that being said, though, it makes uh, our guy the number one, uh, well, not really our guy, but Blackman, the number one wide receiver in the Pro Bowl in general, of course, the AFC side, but just in general. As the Saints, I think, have now made it to six straight Super Bowls, which is just insane. And even more insane, they lost it again. Try to get that revenge, and they could not. That's not true. The Colts got their revenge. All right, I'm not sure what kind of regressions the team had. Burrow goes to X-Factor. Okay, uh, Higgins did regress a little bit, but it definitely seems like the team regressed, right? Carroll, is this guy old or young? He's old. Damn, Sheldon Carroll's old. Uh, Clements, his face looks really surprised. And, uh, yeah, okay. So, I mean, the team's still good enough, probably, to, to make another run, but... That really did feel like it for Blackman, didn't it? He at least got to the championship round, though. Of course, playoffs again. Invisible freaking tablets. Everything's great. Uh, Joe Burrow, best in the league, apparently. Uh, Tavares, right with Blackman. Top two guys, obviously, right. A little bit more of a, of a big play man in this one. But Blackman's still doing well enough to keep that dev, in my opinion. I'm not going to worry about best wide receiver. He wasn't even technically the best guy in his team. Ravens, we beat them once. Can we do it again? We cannot, unfortunately. That is that is sucky. Okay, never no, never mind. As the Chiefs face off against the Giants, finally a new face in the NFC side, and ironically enough, they do win it. As far as Blackman goes, 93 overall. He is 32 now. How long until he's gone is the question. Obviously a very solid player. Short route running, ironically enough. Never really got developed super high, but, you know, that's probably not something you really care about too much anyways, even though that's the type of receiver he should be. Uh, but as far as Madden goes, it probably doesn't matter that much. Yeah, actually, deep route running sucks in Madden, so you might as well go short medium. All right, look at the squad. Burrow, not too far behind the retirement train himself. I mean, Blackman and him really haven't been teammates for long, but, I mean, it's kind of on the trajectory where they may retire at the same time. Uh, as far as everyone else goes, obviously Mitchell is, you know, he's priming himself to be one of the best tight ends of all time here with those freaking ratings. Uh, obviously, looking at the defensive side of things, definitely the weaker side of the two. Who's this? Another old X Factor. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, the defense is kind of not good. Got some decent corners. That's pretty much it. And uh, the uh, the old Bengals actually getting a bye week here. I mean, it's not like a crazy season, but 12-4 and four is not bad. Obviously, Blackman is so blindsided by all this success, I would imagine. But then again, maybe not so blindsided as he is uh, a big reason for the success probably a wide receiver of the year award as Joe Burrow wins best quarterback MVP all that good stuff Blackman does win the award I haven't really paid attention to the Jets but haven't seen him in the playoffs haven't seen him in the Super Bowl so it really doesn't matter as the first matchup is against the Patriots you win that game already to the championship round and the Texans do not have the juice as Blackman is in the Super Bowl for the first time in his career 285 overall teams and I actually kind of like the sliders. I put them around 115 to 122 for most things. And I, I think they're pretty good, actually. I think they're actually very good. You know, Blackman never got to 99, yet he had a lot of 1,000-yard seasons. Pretty good sliders. Maybe even drop the receiver sliders even more. Uh, but overall, here is the chance to cement his history as one of the greatest wide receivers of all time. And I do want to potentially get a thumbnail. I'm still deciding. Do I want the Jets? Do I want the Bengals pitcher? It's tough, you know? All right, I got my little screenshot thingy. It seemed like they choked down the field, and then they got a big pick or something. 10-0. Uh, still 10-0. to 
Still 10 to 7 to 10. Bengals aren't really looking too great on offense. 13 to 7. 20 to 7 looks pretty good. 28 to 7. That's hard to come back from. It's actually more than hard to come back from. It is impossible as the Bengals win this Super Bowl. 38 to 14. Definitely heated up nicely there in the second half. And uh, why do they not look like super angry? The Falcons are like, meh, we'll get them again. Like, you probably won't, but, you know, sure. <laughs> Champions of the world, though, I suppose. Uh, Justin Blackman. Definitely, definitely a good career change. We've seen a couple of, you know, okay moves in career resims where, you know, a guy moves on and he gets better stats and he gets a couple of playoffs, you know, experiences. This was by far one of the best, like, ones I've ever seen. Like, this was, I mean, he immediately went from losing every single time in the regular season to making the playoffs each season and then making it to a Super Bowl and winning one. Joe Burrow is your Super Bowl MVP, of course, whether he makes, uh, you know, if he's even in the league at this point next season uh, or they make it back. We're not going to go into this again. So, well, you know, we'll show you the the whole celebration here for uh, for Justin. See what, uh, see what it looks like with him out on the podium. I like it. I like it. That's my dude up front with the boys right in the middle. They make him seem like he's so short. I guess it's kind of fair. I don't know how tall Willis is, but probably very similar. And yeah, who would have thought having a guy named Willis on you? He actually doesn't look too far off of Justin Blackman. Nah, he kind of does. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he does. As far as uh, their guy goes, he sold Justin Blackman. We got him about 35 yards. So, I mean, not terrible on his own in general. We didn't get him a touchdown, so yeah, he did that on his own and... Yeah, those are the numbers. Not really much more to it. They, they win. They smoke them. Now, I would be very, very, very surprised to see Blackman retire here, but you do never know. I mean, we've seen it where guys retire when they're 90s, in the 90s for overall, and they probably have a year or two, even in Madden terms, and they retire. So this is what he, he looks like. I mean, probably a Hall of Famer, right? He's just good enough for, to be a Hall of Famer now. If he played another season, he'd definitely lock himself in, especially if he had like 96 catches. That would be insane. But yeah, a very, very good season uh, completed and a very good career so far. And Blackman, no, he is still here. I forgot about the regression. He's down to a 90 overall. Should be a 91 again, though, after the season's up. Still a very talented receiver, obviously. And for the first time as a Bengal, they are not going to be making the playoffs. Not a bad season once again, and that puts him just slightly under 1,000 catches in his career this could actually be it for him. This could be uh, it for him. Of course, still deserves X Factor, in my opinion. Uh, you can make the argument you want to drop him in dev because he's old, but that's not my argument. I never would make that argument. Uh, and you can see here that the Texans, I want to say get their revenge, but, you know, they do make the Super Bowl, and they take advantage of it and win it. As Blackman, who I'm not 100% sure will even be here, is definitely on his last legs, and he is not here, but I believe he is... Available. I'm pretty sure he was an 85 overall when I saw the re-signings and the retirement was there. So, pretty sure he's on a team. We got to find it though. It is kind of strange that how some players like, like DK Metcalf is a beast at 35 years old, 14 years in the league. It probably does help that he was a very high overall at a young age. Whereas Blackman, he's a Raider here. He's 34. He's an X Factor, but he's only an 85 overall. CD Lamb, you know, he's only superstar, so you can't really make that same argument. But you know, it is kind of strange, isn't it? And here we go. Uh, he actually joined another pretty talented offense, obviously. A little bit of uh, age in the receiving group for a fact. But 99 overall, Justin Callaway. Not even the most talented Justin on his team as this Callaway guy is absolutely insane. It's kind of like a, a slower Andrew Luck if he never retired. And speaking of, if you've never seen that career as a recent, maybe take a look. Uh, defensively, though, a little bit more talent around the team Whereas, uh, you know, for the Bengals, it was kind of just DBs mainly. Uh, but yeah, some, some really good linebackers and maybe not too late for another ring. I mean, this is actually not a bad looking squad. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Nine and seven season. Not a bad season by any means. But this is what the squad looked like. Justin Blackman was the fourth guy on the team. Although uh, Julian Hunt Collier did have less catches. But he obviously played really, really well. Uh, yeah, this is probably the end of the road for him. Not that he can't still play for a team, but... I think you should call it quits at this point. Justin Blackman, over 1,000 catches, almost 15,000 yards, 131 touchdowns, a lot of rack. He, the, I mean, he's just good. You know, Super Bowl champion, can't really ask for much more. But he could still stick around. We'll see. We'll see. But, he, you know, unlikely, but you never know. 
Uh, does he make the list? He does barely make the list here. Just barely in there. Uh, as far as touchdowns go, he is a lot higher on the list. He's actually fifth all time. Will that last? I don't know. We'll find out. But, I mean, I don't know why I said will that last. <laughs> we'll find out. We won't find out because that's kind of how it works. Super Bowl champions. Could it be a back-to-back -back for the Texans? And it is. It is. Okay, nice. Um, retirements. Is this the year? Was this the year? And it is. Justin Blackman retires after 13 years in the NFL, and what a career he had. Have we ever had one where the guy is just, like, trash and just doesn't make it? I'm trying to think. Like, it would probably be a defender that would happen to, right? Because if you're starting quarterback, you're always going to be okay. Even if you're stuck at normal your whole career, you'll still start somewhere probably. Because, you know, all these guys that are re-resimming, they're going to have decent starting ratings. You know, they're all going to be at least 74, 75 overall minimum, you know, for the most part. So... I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it, I, the reason why I say we'll see is I want to see more. I actually kind of like doing these, and hopefully you guys enjoy watching them. If you guys do, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe. Uh, if you have any ideas for ones you would like to see in the future, let me know in the comment section below. We kind of have done quite a bit of them. Uh, maybe like an, an Arian Foster, maybe a Ray Rice. I mean, do we want to touch these kind of topics? Maybe. Ray Rice was pretty damn good, you know, on the field. <laughs> Other things happened, but, you know... <laughs> Uh, regardless, uh, you know, maybe leave a like, uh, I don't I already said that, but maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel of Care Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for streams, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, hopefully come back for the next video, but until next video, 